Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to start the process of creating a service database, a car service database. So first of all, I'm going to create a blank database and I'm going to call that service and then click on create and that'll start me off. Now normally it creates a table for you and it's expecting you to add columns and there's the different field types that you can add columns with. But I like to not use this method. I like to go into design and create my own tables. It's going to ask me to save that. So the first one I'm going to create is customers, table customers. So you put TBL to qualify as a table, QRI for query and so on and so on. Click OK to that and then it brings me um, into this. So I do want a primary key. So that little symbol there means primary key. Um, and I can leave it on an auto number. So I'll put that, I'll rename this as service ID. So service ID will be the primary key. So that's a unique identifier. And I own auto number means every time you do a new service, it will increment by one. Data types in there. Um, short text is just 255 characters. Long text is longer than that, but not 255. It's about 65,000. Number, number fields, if you want a number, a larger number. Uh, if you're going to do any calculations, you need to set these to number or currency either. Then you can do calculations. If you leave it on text, you can't. Um, date time is very crucial. And long dates. Um, the, the reason date time is quite crucial, you don't leave it on short text, is because you want people to put the date and time in in a set format and you can, you can um, restrict how that is entered. Currency I just mentioned, auto number it's already on. Yes, no is a um, true or false field. Uh, have they got a pension? Yes, no. Um, have they got a service agreement? Yes, no. Stuff like that. OLE object, object linking and embedding that means. So that's all about embedding documents like Word, Excel, photos, images, scan documents into the record, the line, the row for that record. Hyperlink is where it says on the tin hyperlink to a website or a wherever uh, attachment is a, a feature where you can have several instead of just one document uh, which actually is embedded in the database you can have many documents hanging off the record not actually installed in the database but open through the database this way you could have for example if you had a, cu a customer and it had many many services in this example you could have all the service uh, records just hanging off there or the MOT certificates hanging off this record. Calculated field is if you wanted to do a, a little calculation, you, you've got restricted calculation uh, features available here, but you can still do if statements and things like that. And then lookup wizard, which we'll look at later on, basically allows you to look up at information in different tables. So that's all the, the field types, but what we want for this one is just um, customer, we're doing customer, so customer, uh, customer name, and then we'll have um, address, city, um, postcode, uh, county, postcode. Now, in, in future sessions, if I, if I realize that I've missed things out, I'll just come back and add them, and I'll point them out when I do the next session, postcode. So what do we need? So we need telephone number, and we need email, and I think that's all we need. So tell number, all of these are short text none of these are going to be sentences so we don't need to increase this to, to long text so that will do i think so if i just save that for now and then close this one down so now we need to create a service table so if i create a service table so table design is this one is what i'm going to go for so we've got um let me just go back into that one for a second that shouldn't be service ID, should it? That should be customer ID. Good start. I thought that just then when I was just about to put this one as service ID. So customer ID, that was going to be because this one's going to be service ID. Service ID. Service ID. And that will be auto number. Press the letter A and it automatically comes up. So service ID. So service date. That'll be a date time field. So I'm typing the letter D. So I'm pressing tab and then D. And then you've got format at the bottom there, which I'm going to 
to now I want an input mask what's called an input mask on this these three little dots it's gonna ask me to save the table yeah so this is going to be TBL service uh, okay to that I'll no, I'll do that in a minute so I want this to be this format so when I click into a cell it's going to look like that so that's fine short date I don't need to go any further than that I could just go finish puts a series of zeros in there zero means the entry must be filled in so you can put one one um, 18 in there you'd have to put zero one zero one 2018 or 2019 or 2021 whatever whatever year you're doing it in so that's the service date then you want service type that's kind of type of service is it like 10,000 miles stuff like that now service type I might want to put a lookup in there so I'm going to go into a lookup and then let's go in there and drop this down and put in some service types now you've got three options there text box is default list box shows all the options but combo box will just show the option that you want now it says table and query on the next line as soon as I click on that but I don't want a table and query because I haven't got a table of service type so I'm gonna to have to type this in so what, what type of service I want um, I'm gonna do this on miles so 10,000 miles separated with a semicolon um, 20,000 miles semicolon and then 30,000 that'll do separated it and then if I have a look at that if I save that service type should give me a list okay so that means I've got to take the comma out of there so if I go back into there I could have maybe put that into Oh, I put a semicolon in there, that's why it's done that, not a comma. Just put that back in, see if that fixes that. No, so I'll take it out altogether. Oh, it's putting it in, it's doing it automatically, so it doesn't like that at all. So it's seen that as a divider. So obviously, if you put a comma in there, it'll let you let you do that. Um, let's see now. Save. There we go. Different type of service. So back into design. What else do I need in here? So we've got. I need a customer ID field so I can link these two tables together. So customer ID. That will be a number field because it's an auto number field on the other table. That's how those two are going to be linked together. So service date, service type, um, car type. Now I'm going to do a list on this one later on, but I'm not going to do it now. But I'm going to do a lookup of different cars. But I, Because there's that many cars, I probably need a little table that I can look up at. In fact, if I save this now, I'll probably do that now, actually. So if I create a new table, just a one-column table, table design, and call it car type and save that tbl car type car type save okay don't need a primary key have a look at that and then i just put some cars in that so ford escort um bmw three bmw Five. Um, what else can I have? Fiat. Try to think of car makes now. Um, Mazda. That'll do for now because I can add things to that later on. And now, if I go back to the other table, the um, service table, go back into design, right click design. So now, car type, I can do another lookup, and this time it's going to be looking up a table. So if I drop that down, it's going to be a combo box again, but this time it is a table. Because I've called it car type, table car type. And before I do that, actually, what I should be doing here is um, normally when I do these sort of things, I rename this or have this named as a lookup table. So I know when I look at it, it's just a lookup table. So I'm going to have to just redo this now. Yeah, lookup. 
So if I save this and then have a look, uh, car type lookup, and there's the car types there, and you can add to that. And the way I've got that at the moment is you can actually physically type a new car in there, um, but it won't be added to the list. And that's not, it's not a great um, feature to be honest, because it means people can type, make mistakes, typos, and put things in there that don't exist and stuff like that. But that's a, a lookup. And do I want to put the price in here? So let's um, price of service. And that's going to be currency. And Okay, I want to add a, a, another field here, amount to pay. And that's going to be a calculated field. So press tab, type CA, calculated. And then it should start the expression builder. So I want an I, I, F. So if vatable, close square bracket equals yes, comma, Price to pay, and that's got to go in square brackets as well. Price to pay, not price to pay, price of service, square bracket, price of service times 1.2. You add it on. Otherwise, it's just going to be the price of service. Square brackets, price of service, close square bracket, Close normal bracket for the if statement. Just have a quick check of that. Price of service, price of service, no typos. Should really double click on these to be fair. Let's have a look. Okay. So it's put it in there, which means it likes it. Let's have a quick check of this. So if I save that, go and have a look. So I've got a figure there that I put in earlier. It says £100 there. If I tick that, 120 So if I don't tick that, it's just okay. And if I go back into design, this needs to be um, formatted as currency. So drop the arrow down there, put that to currency, save it again, have a look. 100 pounds, not vatable. That's good. So that works. So let's have a quick look what we've got down here. So we've got service date, service type, customer ID, car type, price of service, vatable, amount to pay. And then we could have parts use so parts id i'm going to link that in with a another table number field and that's all i want for this so if i save that and then close this so now what i need to do is create another table which is going to be parts of create table design so it's going to be part id which is going to be an auto is it going to be an auto number just a number no an auto number auto number the id field then we can have part number, which is a number. Oh, we could have letters with it. We'll leave it short text. Part number, part item, and quantity. That is going to be a number field. It's going to be a number, quantity. Um, and then I'll leave that for now. We'll come back and add things to that later on. So I'll save this as TBL, TBL parts. And then close that. Primary key, I'll do it. Part ID, that's a primary key. So unique identifier, save that again, close it. So now we need to link these three tables up uh, before we progress. And then on the next session, I'll, we'll build it up and put some data in there. So onto database tools, relationships, and then you just bring in the tables. You can add them through this box if you want, but I like to do that. So drag that in. And then you've got a service or so a customer can have many services. So this is going to be a, a one to many link and a service can use many parts. So that'll be a one to many as well. So customer ID to customer ID should give you the one to many option. I want to enforce referential integrity, which means if I don't tick that, if I didn't tick that, it means I would better create a customer ID number in there in the service table which did not exist in this table, which is going to create off what are called orphan records. You don't want that. Now, if you've already got data in the table, you may already have that. You should re really do a data audit to get rid of any uh, rogue customers. But because we haven't not typed any data yet, we can do this. And it is a one-to-many. It's picking that up. So that's great. So we can just create that. 
the data in the table. Okay, that's what happens. So it doesn't like that data that I did in the um, service table. So I'll just delete that line because there's no ID there, look, for the customer, which is, I did that on purpose, not. <laughs> Close that. Now it let me do it. So customer ID to customer ID, tick, create, and then it lets you do it. It would have let you do the join, but it wouldn't have, a, wouldn't have had these symbols on, so you wouldn't have had to been able to do the enforced referential integrity bit, but it still would have let you do the join if you did have an orphan record, which I did. Now, service ID, um, or part number to service ID, uh, to part number, get it right in a minute. Same thing, I should better do the same thing. Yeah. That's a one to many link there. So, yeah, so one to many, many parts in this table, and just one by part ID number you can have. So, that's the links I want. I'll save that and close this down. So, what I'm going to do on the next session is we'll just test that with some data to make sure that all works. I might have to adjust the links, I might have to adjust some fields. That's how you do before you progress on to queries and doing some serious calculations in queries. You want to make sure that the table structure itself works. And you can only really do that when you've got some test data. And the test data needs to cover all eventualities. And it could be the, the parts table may need adjusting slightly. But that's all I want to cover on this little session. So hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for your time.